I'm Benson Chan, I'm a co-founder of Strategy Things. Uh, I'm speaking with you here from CES 2024 at the IoT MPM Council booth. Today I'm speaking with Dr. Ali Sadri from Airgain. Uh, he's the CTO of Airgain. Um, Dr. Sadri, can you introduce yourself a little bit more and talk a little bit about your company first? Of course, uh, thanks for having me here. Uh, I uh, joined Airgain uh, close to three years ago, two and a half, three years ago. Uh, a little bit background about Airgain. Airgain was formed as an antenna company back in 2002. Uh, we were specialized on the smart antennas, embedded antennas, and uh, in 2016 we went public and uh, we're now traded on NASDAQ. Um, when I joined the organization, the um, the organization still was focusing more on the components, again, antennas, embedded antennas, uh, automotive antennas, um, you know, working directly with the OEMs and ODMs uh, to integrate antennas into set-top boxes, uh, uh, the, the routers, gateways, and so forth. Uh, my role was to transform the company from an, a, a component a provider to more of a wireless system uh, a, a company and uh, we have made that transformation and the reason we, we made that transformation was you know to get access to much larger uh, uh, TAM you know uh, antennas are good but to get you know much bigger uh, revenue you, you move into the into the system um, We've made uh, quite a lot of progress. Uh, we, we announced uh, several uh, uh, key products uh, in, in 5G, and some of them, you know, uh, you know includes uh, fixed wireless accesses, uh, the routers for the automotive, which we just announced it at the CES. The, we call it AirGain Connect Fleet, uh, designed for first responders, you know, public utilities and so forth that don't have 5G connectivity. It also provides uh, uh, built-in uh, Wi-Fi connections uh, for whoever wants to get access to the broadband. We are also very active into uh, the, the infrastructure side. Uh, we announced during the Mobile World Congress that we are uh, developing uh, um, uh, the, the network repeaters uh, for, for extending the range of the 5G devices and 5G uh, signals from the base stations to the, to the users. So that transformation successfully happened in the, in the past uh, you know, two and a half, three years and, and we're definitely a di different company at the moment. Mm, that's great. Now you mentioned uh, here at CES, you guys announced a few things. You know, what are some of the big, bigger announcements that uh, that you guys are doing here, or you know, where are you guys going with some of these new products? What new right. products are on the horizon? Uh, you know, where are you guys headed? With some right. Of these things. So when we look at uh, you know what what we're going to achieve, one of the models that you know we we talked about earlier was we would like to simplify wireless systems for our customers. So the more we integrate from the, the components all the way to the systems and, and the network, the easier it becomes uh, for our uh, uh, customers to deploy. Uh, so some of the things that uh, you know, we, we like to get involved is, if you think about the propagation from the base station on the cellular network all the way to the premise, we're active on the base station side with our massive MIMO antenna design. Then the signal propagation over the air, uh, we want to extend that, you know, especially in the 5G frequency bands. So we developed network repeaters that extends the range of the 5G coverage. And then we developed uh, you know, the end products as well. One is the fleet, as I mentioned, you know, AirGain Connect fleet that provides you know, broadband connections to the vehicle and also the, the, the Wi-Fi connections to, to that hotspot. And also our end uh, user product, which is fixed wireless access. We, we focus more on the outdoor fixed wireless access. Uh, we believe that that provides better coverage, better, better throughput. 
So our uh, Lantern product that was announced last year is going to be available in mass production you know, fairly soon. Uh, but it provides superior performance uh, for the end users as well. Uh, that, that should give us the whole spectrum, as I said, from the base station all the way to the, to the uh, user equipment. And, and enhancing the entire um, you know, performance of the signal over the air and the delivery into the premise. Mm. So it sounds like you guys made a successful transition from components to, say, systems right, and infrastructure. Now, as and you mentioned 5G, now as you know, 5G is coming in a more uh, bigger way, a more pervasive way, and you know, 6G is on the horizon. You know, what are some of the things that people are thinking about or challenged with as they're uh, deploying or figuring out their 5G, 6G strategies, you know, regards to infrastructure or right. approaches? And right. what are some of the things that you're seeing or hearing? Right. Thank you for asking that question. That actually the core of our business is, is how to enhance, again, the performance of the 5G network, both for the uh, MNOs and also for the end users. Uh, and, and that's also a part of the next generation of the cellular system as well. Um, to, for 5G to be successful, we definitely have to think about the signal propagation, right? As we go up in the frequency band, the path loss of the, the signal increases exponentially as well. So while the, the MNO is using still the same towers and the same locations, that they use for the LTE and sub, uh, you know, two gigahertz uh, 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 signal for LTE. When they moved into the 5G and you know 2.5 gigahertz and 3.5 gigahertz, the signal propagation, you know, decays very very quickly. So while they want to give access to all their customers at the 5G speeds, they're not able to reach that because the signal doesn't propagate that far. That's where we started to focus more on our network repeaters, a very sophisticated development that we worked on for the past two years, that we get the signal over the air, we clean it up, we do carrier aggregation, we cancel the echo, and we transmit it to the direction that we need to extend the range or get a better coverage. So our network repeater, Lighthouse, for example, gives a massive uh, improvement to existing 5G uh, coverage for the user as well. Interestingly, the ne uh, network control repeaters, or NCR, that's what we're building, and we call this smart NCR, for our Lighthouse product, uh, that is going to be part of the 6G standard. So as an in integrated part of the whole 6G, you have these additional network devices that will be controlled by the operator to increase the range uh, by controlling the device as well. So we think that we're positioned in the very, very you know, right uh, time with the right product to solve some of the most difficult uh, coverage issues for our customers. No, thank you for that. Um, you know, in the time that we have left, uh, what are some of the other things that people should start to think about as you're you know, coming up with some of these new areas? Right? You talked about some some pretty interesting things, but are there additional things that right. people should know? Well, generally speaking, uh, everybody wants faster connections, higher throughput, longer range, and uh, nothing comes for free, right? Uh, and the spectrum is not available, you know, uh, in, in many uh, areas that we want to use that spectrum. So um, I know FCC is trying to extend the, the release of certain, or auctioning certain frequency bands to allow, you know, additional products to operate in upper six gigahertz or seven gigahertz band, but these these frequency availability are finite. Uh, I think eventually, at some point, we have to move into the much higher frequency band or millimeter wave frequency, and that by, by itself creates another challenge. As I said, as you go up in the frequency band, the path loss increases exponentially, and therefore the, the use of repeaters become more apparent. 
So you need to put more and more of these repeaters to get a better coverage. And that's where I think 6G is looking at as well. And, and I think uh, that's something that is a great opportunity for AirGain and our customers. Uh, and hopefully we can, we can participate in that market as well. Well, Dr. Sajri, thank you. This is very interesting and I learned some uh, things. I really enjoy our conversation. Uh, yeah, I know you're here at the show at CES. Uh, I hope you have a great show and thank you for speaking with me. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you.